if you have older parents and they're not talking to you about what they're doing, I'm asking you to get involved with their money. And I'm asking you to protect the older people that are in your life. Just so you know, my mother happens to be 96 years of age. And my mother has two full-time nurses that I keep around her 24 hours a day simply because I don't want her to live any other way than she is. I can tell you that is costing me about $30,000 a month. So when my mother was younger, I kept saying, Mom, you need to get long-term care insurance. And she kept saying, Susie, I don't need long-term care insurance. I'm never going to end up that way. Back then, she could have bought a policy, purchased a policy that would have cost her about two or three thousand dollars a year that would essentially be covering everything today, almost. If you're out there and you can afford it, long-term care insurance is something every single one of you should be looking into so that you aren't in the problem that I have, everybody. Long-term care insurance should be purchased in your late 50s. It should be there for you when you're older. I hope it's a type of insurance that you never have to use. But one out of three people will end up in a nursing home sometime during their lifetime after the age of 65. Average age of entry into a nursing home is 84. Average length of stay in a nursing home is about three years. So just be careful. You should only purchase long-term care insurance if you can afford it when you buy it and you know you're going to be able to afford it 20 or 30 years from now until you turn 84. It makes no sense to buy long-term care insurance and then drop it five years from now because you no longer can afford it.